it's time to end the failed war on drugs. Edmonton City Council will soon be discussing the next steps towards a public health approach to the drug poisoning epidemic. Councillor Jans put forward the motion to decriminalize minor drug offenses. And I think Edmontonians know that our home insurance is going up, that our car insurance is going up, that we're seeing garage break-ins and a scourge of petty theft and crime that is driven by addiction. By decriminalizing those who possess small amounts of drugs, Councillor Jan says it will allow them to look at a number of other social issues, such as poverty, mental health, and addiction. The moment we shift our mindset from this is a criminal problem to this is a public health problem, just like we have with, with alcohol, with marijuana, we're going to see better public policy that is more efficient, that is more economical, that will reduce tax. Between January and October 2021, there were 512 drug poisoning deaths in Edmonton alone. That's up from 372 drug poisoning deaths in that same time frame in 2020. We need to explore every toolkit that is available for us to reduce that harm and reduce that impact on the community and keep uh, Edmontonians alive. Edmonton isn't the only city to consider moving to a decriminalization model. Toronto's doing this, Vancouver's doing this, Calgary's doing this, Montreal and other, other jurisdictions are looking at this. The motion will be brought to Edmonton City Council on Monday. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.